Hello, this is Daniel, and I'm going electric for the average person. Thanks for coming along on the ride. I am coming to you from Northern Illinois today. I am somewhere around 4,000 miles into my uh, trip across the United States. I'm gonna be staying here a little bit, visiting family, and my mom is actually the source of today's topic. And her question to me this week was, Daniel, how much does it cost to fill up your Model Y? And my answer was, I don't know. So stay tuned and we'll find some answers. Welcome back. Let's jump into it. I've got my trusty iPad here that I'm gonna be reading from today. Um, since I left San Francisco, I have been tracking in a spreadsheet um, what my charging experiences have been. For example, where did I charge? Um, how much energy did I get from the charge? When did I check in? When did I disconnect from the charge um, supercharger? How much it cost? Uh, what my battery percentage was coming into the charge and what it was when I left. And I've been calculating a lot of information on that, including my odometer readings. Um, I've also been looking at my trip um, data that you can do on the dashboard. And so I have a fair amount of data that I've been accumulating. And I ran some numbers the other night um, to answer that question, how much does it cost to fill up your Model Y? And uh, did some equations and did some conversions and kind of things and just wanted to come up with a number that a person who drives a gasoline car could understand to them. It's kind of like when... Um, you're shopping for LED lights and they still list them in watt equivalents. It's something that people are familiar with. Um, they may not care about lumens, they may not care about color temperature, they may not care about um, all these other things, but they do still understand the difference between a 60 watt bulb and a 100 watt bulb. And when it comes to filling up um, your car with energy, people just don't understand this kilowatt hour business and all the complexities involved um, with how much it actually costs. So. The numbers I'm using, uh, you'll see in my equations the exact numbers I've got. And for each scenario, I'm going to provide you um, the assumptions for each scenario. And feel free in the comments below to disagree with me. Uh, I'd love to kind of hear what your experience have, has, have been and then if you think my math is a little off. Uh, so let's jump into it. Scenario number one, assumptions. The comparison vehicle that we're using here is a Mazda CX-5. I rented one and drove across the country last um, May and June, lovely vehicle. Um, but a lot of uh, crossover SUVs would fit into this category. Uh, Mid-size uh, crossover gas tank size would be 15 gallons and then the MPG is 25 miles per gallon. If you take 15 and multiply that by 25, that gets you a range for that Mazda CX-5 of 375 miles. And then based on my own calculations, which I'm not gonna show here, uh, over the last 4,000 miles, I've averaged about 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour uh, in this car, which works out to about 103 miles per gallon equivalent, which is amazing, I love that. Um, then I will use the US gallon of gasoline average of $2.20. And then based on my own experiences with supercharging uh, over the last 4,000 miles, I've averaged about 19 cents per kilowatt hour. I will say that's significantly less expensive um, than what you're gonna find in the San Francisco Bay Area where it averages around 30 cents to 36 cents. But outside of California and a lot of other markets, it can be actually quite cheap uh, to power up. And then lastly, I've come up with kind of a useless number, which is the cost of a gallon of electrons um, which is a little shocking at first when you realize that a cost, the cost of a gallon of electrons is about three times more expensive uh, for electricity than it is for gas. So that's a number that you have to wield with caution because if you tell people who are not used to electric vehicles, oh, by the way, it's about $3 and it's about $6 and 34 cents a gallon for electrons, they'll freak out and be like, I'm never buying an electric car again. Um, so the number is kind of useless, but I, I still think it's interesting in some way. So given those assumptions, we're gonna jump into the math for scenario one. Now, the energy for my Y to drive 375 miles, which is the range of a Mazda CX-5, that would take me 120 kilowatt hours. Now, if you look at the equation here, I take 375 miles divided by 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour uh, from the range that I've been averaging, and then you can see that gets me 
120 kilowatt hours to drive those 375 miles. Now, if you take 120 kilowatt hours and you multiply that by 19 cents per kilowatt hour, the answer to the question, how much does it cost to fill up your Model Y, is $22. Now, an interesting comparison, though, is how much does it cost to fill up a Mazda CX-5? And if you take the gallon capacity and multiply it by the cost of gasoline, that will get you approximately $33. And then for comparison, if you take $33 and subtract $22, and you then divide that number by 22, you get 50%. So that $33 is a 50% increase from 22. So if you take 22, divide it by two, that gets you 11. You add 11 to 22, that gets you 33. So that's the answer. If someone drives a vehicle like a Mazda CX-5, Ford Escape, or some other mid-size SUV, to answer that question, just tell them, cost me 22 bucks. Next scenario, the assumptions. The car that we're gonna deal with here is a Porsche Macan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I looked it up online. Its gas tank size is 19.8 gallons. Its MPG rating is about 21. I've seen some things that are a mile or two above that, maybe a mile or two below, but that's about an average. Uh, taking those numbers, the range of the Porsche is 415 miles. You take my uh, Model Y efficiency numbers of 3.1 per kilowatt hour, US gallon of gasoline at $2.20, uh, 19 cents per kilowatt hour for my supercharger, and then you get 634 for a gallon of electrons again, not a totally helpful number. And then we run the math and we can see that the energy to drive 415 miles in my Tesla would take 134 kilowatt hours. You run the math and the answer to the question, how much does it cost to fill up my Model Y if I'm comparing it to something like a Porsche Macan would be $25.46, which compared to the $43.56 it would cost to fill it up, the Porsche is 71% more expensive. Scenario three, assumptions. Now we're gonna go back to the Mazda CX-5 as the comparison vehicle with its 15 gallons of um, gas in its tank plus 25 miles per gallon uh, with a range of 375 miles for that vehicle. And then you can see my numbers uh, down below. But what we're gonna change in this scenario is let's say I'm charging at home and I can get 12 cents per kilowatt hour instead of something like 19. That would then get me a cost of gallon of electrons down to $4 running the math with that lower kilowatt hour rate, uh, you would see that it would take me 120 kilowatt hours to drive 375 miles, which is the range of the Mazda. And running the numbers to answer the question, how much does it cost to fill up your car if you're paying 12 cents per mile to fill up your tank or your battery, the answer would be $14.40. And compared to the $33 for the Mazda CX-5, the Mazda is 129% more expensive. So this is where we get in to cost benefits of owning an electric vehicle uh, in a tangible way. And lastly, scenario four, assumptions. We're gonna keep using that Mazda CX-5. It's a common class of vehicle. And it's 15 gallons in the tank and then 25 miles per gallon, 375 mile range, compared to the 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour for my Tesla at 103 miles per gallon equivalent. Now we're going to change a couple variables here. One is the average cost of gasoline in the Bay Area, which is $3.26 last time I looked, about a day ago. And then the Bay Area supercharger rate, you know, I don't know what the average is across the Bay Area, but I have seen 34 cents per kilowatt hour myself. And I have seen it, uh, at least online by other people, as high as 36 cents. I wasn't really tracking, to be honest, when I was in San Francisco. I only started tracking when I left. But we're gonna run these numbers. And using these numbers, it would cost you $11.36 to buy the equivalent gallon of electrons. That is a number which is pretty shocking. Now, the math for this scenario is that it would take me 120 kilowatt hours to drive those 375 miles. And then the cost to fill up my Model Y using 120 kilowatts of energy at 34 cents per kilowatt would then become $40.80. And the cost to fill up a Mazda CX-5 at the cost of gasoline in the Bay Area would then be $48.90. And so you can see in this scenario, the Mazda is only 20% more expensive to fill up. So that's the answer to the question, how much does it cost to fill up your Model Y? 
take a look at those numbers. Feel free to use them on your own. Uh, if you have any proposals about how I should improve my numbers or if I've made any mistakes anywhere, again, leave some comments below. Or if you're getting different rates for charging your car, it would be really interesting to hear. I was looking at the PG&E utility rates for Northern California for some comparison, and I was noticing that they've got some interesting rate plans where if you charge your vehicle in the middle of the night, I think it can be as low as 12 cents, which is pretty awesome. But woe to you if you charge like at 11 a.m. to like 6 p.m. or something. I think the rate was 56 cents per kilowatt hour. At that rate, it becomes significantly more expensive for you to power your electric vehicle than just using gasoline. So when I get back to San Francisco and I try signing up for one of these rates, it's going to be really interesting for me to kind of figure out how do you do that? I think the car will let you charge given some parameters. Um, but I can definitely see people who are home charging. You better make sure it's at the middle in the middle of the night uh, rather than midday. And that's also kind of interesting because I'd be fascinated to learn what Tesla's rates are if I supercharge, say, at like 2 p.m., and I'm only paying um, 19 cents per minute or, say, 36 if I'm in the Bay Area, what are they being charged for that energy? And are they kind of subsidizing daytime supercharging based on evening rates or do they buy in bulk or whatever it is? Um, so it would be interesting to learn that. If any of you know the answer to that question, I'd, I'd love to learn. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was pretty straightforward. So now you can tell everyone that you know how much it costs to fill up a Model Y. Thanks for listening and see you next time.